Alrighty then, while I was considering what I was going to do about that back door, I decided that I would rather use the new fiberglass door than try to drill out all the broken bolt holes and repair all the rusty spots in the other one. So here is a nice sexy piece of uh, plexiglass that I just got back from the store with. It looks all gray, but if you peel off the plastic so you can see it's nice and clear, I'll leave that on there. So I can mark on that and cut on that and what I'm going to do is uh, I can't exactly lay it I don't think I can lay it exactly in place to get my mark on this I might I've got my other glass here with the little rubber molding which might be a pretty good pattern for that so I may just take that piece lay it on top and draw it kind of set it on here see if it looks right and then take it out and carefully jigsaw out that shape we'll give that a shot and see what we think Okay, I got my everything set up and ready to cut. I'm using my, my favorite little wind awl saw that I I got this thing at a yard sale for 15 bucks. And I put a couple of pieces of Gorilla Tape on the bottom of this to uh, so that the vibrations won't be so bad right against the glass. Of course, there is a sheet of plastic in under here to protect this. And I did a test cut with this blade right here, and it looks like a nice clean cut. So. Basically what I'm going to do is probably start here and go all the way across and right off the board. Same thing down there and then two long cuts. Get all that done, we'll test it. If that works, we'll uh, clean everything up and drill some holes. And I don't know if I'll install it yet or not because I may install the door before I put the glass in, but go ahead and have the holes pre-drilled so that once I get it where I'm sure everything's going to work, it'll be easier to handle without the glass and then I can pop the glass in there with some silicone. So I get to work on that. Make some mess. Okay, I got this cut out. I cut it out with a grinding wheel rather than with a saw blade because what was happening, the saw blade would heat this up and it would flow back in behind the blade and kind of like weld itself back together as I went. It did something similar with a cutting blade, but the cutting blade exerted enough force to kind of make it uh, more sustaining. I put a different wheel on my grinder and I'm going to go around and knock these rough edges off. I'm going to adjust the way the corners fit. There's a little bit of a high spot right here. This bottom needs to come up oh, about a, I don't know, eighth or a half, eighth or a quarter of an inch. So I'll take my grinder and I'll work all of that with it. And uh, if we like that, we'll drill some holes in it for our bolts and then set it aside and see if we can mount that door.